How's it going gamers? Chongo here and today I've got a gameplay commentary for you guys. The gameplay is of the War Z and this commentary is going to be a follow up to my previous commentary and this one's going to be based more on the developers of War Z. So anyway, let's get into it. Now my original commentary was about how I actually like the game, the War Z, and all the hate it was getting I think was a little bit unfair on the game considering I actually enjoyed it. Anyway, some people interpreted that as in me de defending the developer, and that's not what I was going for. It was more the fact that I liked this game and I enjoyed it, and everyone seems to just be jumping on this bandwagon to automatically hate it before they've even played it or seen anything about it themselves. So if some people watched it and thought that that was me defending the developer, it wasn't. It was mainly me just trying to say that I like this game and it was a bit harsh, all the hate it's getting, because, yeah, I, I tend to enjoy this game and I'll probably continue to play it. Anyway... This video is more about the developers because since I posted that video, I got a couple of messages about what the development team actually has done. Like someone said about a copyright lawsuit, so I looked into that and someone sent me some links and I basically found out that the pictures on, I think it's the menu and some of their other items, I can have a link in the description to obviously the article, of the zombies are actually stolen from The Walking Dead and other places on the internet and then they've just changed a few features on them and it's really obvious that they're stolen and I hadn't heard about this till someone sent it to me and I just couldn't believe a development team would go and do that because that seems like a really stupid thing to do. Like if you're making a proper legit game and you're going to sell it to people, obviously I think you need to create your own images or pay someone to use their images in your game. I, I just can't believe that they'd take them without permission and just edit them. To me that seems ridiculous. So I'll have a link in the description to that and it's really obvious that these images have been stolen. Some of them are a little bit harder to see than others, but there is definitely some there that have been stolen from other pictures on the web. Now this next thing that they've done I, I thought was completely ridiculous considering how easy it is to find some music on the internet and pay a small fee to use it in your production, but they've stolen the theme music for the menu of the War Z from the, a TV show called The American Horror Story. Anyway, I'll have a link to that in the description, and at first I thought well, why would they do that? That seems like something that could be really easy picked out, and it's the exact same song just slowed down a bit so I just I can't believe a developer would go to that extent considering you could pay maybe a hundred bucks 200 bucks and get a song and incorporate that into your project it doesn't seem you know something that would be a smart move by them considering how much trouble they'll get into if a copyright lawsuit does arise and they get charged with that anyway in my previous commentary I was unaware of these things so that's why I obviously didn't bring them up otherwise I would have but since obviously getting that that has changed my opinion on the developer quite a bit I'm surprised that that even considered doing these kind of things when you're trying to make a game and however I just want to say a couple of things because in game they're actually really nice like uh, obviously there's all these bad things that have happened but they're like they do daily updates or they try to majority of the time fixing up all these issues like when Total Biscuit made a video c complaining about some of the features in the game the next patch actually fixed some of those problems like he was saying there was a problem the fact that when you died it doesn't tell you what you meant to do they've now added a feature that'll like tell you like will disconnect you from the server in a certain amount of time so I I'm just it's very surprising to see a developer that on one hand is helping out the game trying to update it and do that and then on the other hand is stealing things and doing something illegal it seems like maybe it might be one or two people maybe it might be a majority that's doing the bad things I I'm not really sure it just it seems to me that obviously they need to fix their development team if some people are stealing items from other things and then obviously some people are doing some good things with the game and consistently updating the game with player feedback. So I hope this video fixed any of your concerns about the last one and about me supposedly defending a developer that has gone and done these illegal things. I'm not, it's just that I'm, I'm kind of surprised that they have, you know, on one end being really nice and fixing up the game and on this other end doing all these illegal things. So anyway, this brings me to the end of my commentary. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like and if you've got any comments about out either War Z, my previous commentary, or the development team, put them below. And if you want to join the game, just subscribe. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.